name is Don Paradise. I work for Nutrient Ag Solutions. Been working for Nutrient now for two and a half years and uh, really enjoy doing the field work and being in the crops every day. I've been in the almond crop for probably 10, 12 years now and as a practicing PCA for three years now. With the concentration of tree nuts that are in this area that I kind of focus on, navel orange worm tends to be a pretty dominant pest, uh, especially in the trees, and then probably mite from year to year. This year wasn't a horrible mite year, but it can be really bad around here depending on temperatures and things like that. To be able to control navel orange worm and mite, it's kind of a holistic, full circle approach. Uh, my Marone rep and I talked and kind of came up with a program approach on how we were gonna attack both mite and navel orange worm. And with my previous experience with some of the other Marone products, I felt and that and then the recommendations of my Marone rep, I felt very comfortable using Venerate this year. So Venerate XC, we put it in a tank mix with some conventional chemistries and we lowered kind of the, the program that myself and my Marone rep worked on was to lower some of the conventional chemistries and add the Venerate into the tank mix. And what that did for us was we added another Iraq group in there and we saw good performance on both knocking back the navel orange worm population and seeing kind of a reduction in the amount of eggs on the mummies that we were kind of monitoring in the orchard. This orchard where we put the venerate on, we saw our navel orange worm damage or our insect damage, pest damage in general, was below half a percent. It was actually like 0.2%. So that allows us to sell those at a premium. When your turnouts are better and you're insect damage is less, you're gonna have better yield because you're not throwing away all those nuts that got chewed up by navel orange worm. It's definitely something that I'm gonna use in the future with this grower and others. Um, I like the idea of having that other active ingredient and having the reduced risk of resistance. And then the results we saw basically made it kind of a no-brainer for me.